<laughs> all right, welcome back, class. All my little chitlins and children, y'all come up here and visit with me. Uh, we do have one spectator in the house today, and that is Sancho Panza, my my assistant that does the camera work from my iPhone. Uh, Sancho, boss. <laughs> Sancho will be asking questions throughout um, if he thinks of any. Uh, that might help us out along the way as well. Uh, some questions that I might not uh, think of or things that I might not address, but he addresses and it'll be good. Let's spice things up with Sancho. Say hello, Sancho again. Hello, Sancho again. Thank you, Sancho. <laughs> let's get going. Uh, let's start out with the sky, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go into that, that peach color that we made and uh, just like every time I'm going to use, well, I'm going to use a uh, bristle brush um, to cover a lot of this space, put in my mineral spirits and just wipe my uh, paper towel along with it just so that it's a little more flexible and not stiff. It's not wet. I'm not, and I'm loading up this brush. Uh, so it's should be good to go. Um, the paint's not thin. And people do ask sometimes, Sancho, you know what they ask me sometimes? What do they ask you sometimes, boss? <laughs> they, they say, uh, a lot of painters actually paint more like a pencil. They'll hold the brush this way and paint. Uh, if you see me like, I typically try to paint sort of arm's length away and I will have the brush out and I'll drag my hand farther down the, um, the neck of the brush. And that is just because I can see the painting better. I'm not feeling like I'm drawing with my paint. There are times when like, say you'll see me probably tackle some of the um, foam in the social painting and I might get up a little bit closer and hold it more like a pencil or a pen. But typically I'm holding the brush outside of that scenario. I'm flipping it over and holding it like so. Hand model. That's my next, that's my next thing in life. <laughs> So I'm leaving some of this area open for um, that secondary color that we had mixed, uh, which was a grayish version of uh, the tone, more a little more purple grayish. Uh, you don't want to put. You can start by adding a little bit, trying to hit the areas that you miss. Then come back in, I'll wipe off the brush and I'll kind of feather because I, my paint's not thin. It's pretty thick. I loaded up my brush so I, I have enough paint to maneuver what's going on there. <coughs> and then I will tackle a little bit of this top area and do the same. I feel like there is a little bit of haze in the top, so I was just gonna try to do a little bit of something like that. If we wanted to, like my color is uh, a little bit darker, I could go with, a, I could mix a little more Naples yellow into that mixture that I had for the warmth. And I could, if I mix a little more, it would probably look a little bit lighter like that. And I could add it in there and see how, if it lightened it up a little bit. And then I could even dry my brush off maneuver and feather in that 
the a little bit of that lightness that might even go back in with the warmer and feather it up back in. So I think our round is done. Off to the next round. Sancho, any questions? No, boss, that looked pretty good. Appreciate I was wondering it. how you're going to get it a little bit lighter up there. All right. I so if I want to put a little bit more light up there. If we wanted to put a little bit more light, we uh, we go back with our Naples yellow and our alizarin crimson mm -hmm. with white mm -hmm. and a little bit of alizarin. Um, that way, we're getting more of a solid color that's lighter. Uh, Sancho, we grab the uh, camera and head to the. Uh, I'll grab the camera. You walk around. So as we do this unplanned event, you can see the palette. And if we get a little bit to make a lighter, <sighs> joys of painting. We make a little bit lighter version. We just grab Naples yellow, right? Just the. We'll go incy, incy bitsy. And even that little bit of red just maneuvers that so much. So like we'll use up the maple jello and now we have like a really like brighter orange comparatively to this was the sky color mm. that we had. And now we have something of that. I can clean the brush off so I can get some of the darkness off that I have and I can go in here I can even add more white if I wanted to make it slightly lighter. Um, and I can hint at that. And it'll give it more of a peachy effect and lighter effect in these areas. If I needed to blend it in, I still have a pile. That color, like the bottom color, if I wanted to notice I'm just kind of hitting the edges of this so the edges are a, a soft transition between colors edges are so important we're going to have harder edges um, in the wave we'll have some softer um, edges in this foam we'll have a nice color a little bit of harder edge in this foam but also soft and then our color transitions here they're contrasting. So we have our foreground, middle ground, and then our subject matter really, and then our background. So that's how we're doing this painting. So we'll see you in the next round.